So this is essentially this would be an informal yeah. meeting. Look at this on the too. This is so well done. This is excellent. Um, um, yeah, it's an informal meeting. No votes will be taken, uh, so you won't be able to accept your minutes. So should I even do minutes or no? Well, no, 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 we won't be able to accept these minutes that you But do. I should still write them. You should still do them, and then we can vote on them on the last meeting, which is in two weeks. The last meeting is in two weeks? Right? I mean, that'll be the last meeting of May. I don't think I'm gonna get many of you guys to show up in June. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, if you want, I'm game. Because one thing that we do, though, yeah, and yeah, one thing that Sam and I were thinking about that's on the agenda actually is that we thought it would be really nice if we had like a dinner at the end and that way we could use it as like a recruitment strategy too. Brilliant. Well, I think I think that's an excellent idea because what I was going to suggest for the last meeting, whatever we figure that out, it would blow the budget on you know, pizza and, yeah. and soda and stuff. Right. And, um, Should I have also a fancy dinner? What's that? Treat ourselves to a fancy dinner. A fancy dinner? Like go out to a restaurant oh, and sit yeah. down and <laughs> sit down and get table. sit down and get dressed up and stuff. That's You're the only one who's got a tie apparently. So I am. Well, one of the the the, <laughs> the other thing that I would like to do is actually just have a a debriefing for all the commissioners who are leaving. What they would like, what they think the youth commission should continue doing, what the mission should be, and if they make any recommendations and stuff. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. This is this is really hard because some of the things that are on the agenda, like we really need more people than this. Right. Well, we don't have either of the counselors of the sponsoring ordinance, so. Yeah. What happened at the last meeting? Um, the yeah, last meeting. I was out of town. Yeah. The the. Well, this is what was happening. Uh, what actually? What happened at the last meeting? We had um. No, no we did our last meeting. Huh? What well, says you it? seconded it? So I'm guessing you were here. It says you were. We here. canceled one meeting. Yeah, it just doesn't include my name on it. Actually, what is April now? I'm not. I'm not listed as a voting or non-voting member. Oh, we did yeah, have right. I didn't do these. Was yeah, this April 9th? Yes. Were you here at the April 9th? Never mind. I was here. Wasn't. Yeah. So we we canceled one meeting. The towards that things got a little wacky, and we canceled one meeting. And the idea was to organize and create, devote more energy to the presentation. Um, and then technically, theoretically, this is going to be the meeting where we're going to have the, the presentation for the sponsoring counselors who also are not here. So, you know, and you mean uh, like the city council? No, no, no. Just the two, because it, it's not ready to go to the council yet. But, um, and then Council Specter was considering, they were, you remember, they discussed some changes to how we approach it that whole um you guys were going to go do uh research and go interview restaurant tours and things like that and find out essentially what the do a survey and see what's up with that yeah and i wish we did some of us okay do you have something ready to present now if i mean not like presentation i can talk okay. about them i have like notes and stuff. okay i mean because next time Let's focus on next time, and I'll I'll handcuff the two counselors, or at least one, and get them in here, and then you can make the presentation. You're gonna do it like a PowerPoint. Is well, isn't mean? it just the same thing we did last time, or has it been? Like has have we even like fixed up the PowerPoint? No, Probably not. I don't know. Maybe it's supposed so, to be. So. And would we incorporate this? Right. The survey. Do it, or would we just talk about it after? Well, I think that I think it would make sense to incorporate that into the yeah, survey because. Too. Yeah, because you need it as a legacy. So when you guys are gone, the next youth commission and the councils when they go and make their case, you guys have actually done the, the legwork for them that they wouldn't have otherwise done, to be honest. So this is, I mean, that the you guys have already done the deeper research that hasn't been done. You've already, and then you've done the survey, which hasn't been done. And I don't know how else they would have done it. So these are valuable assets when they go and make the case. So that's. That's why we'd like them to be here so that they could they could understand what the hell it is that you guys did. Yeah. When do they plan on like going and making the the timeline shifted a little and I think Councilor Specter wanted because he wants to refigure it out because you, I, I sent you the article in the article, the Boston Globe, about um, 
the Boston Globe editorial about the fact that it's a zero sum game oh, yeah, yeah. with uh, with you eliminate styrofoam, but some of the alternatives are just as bad, if not worse, yeah. depending in some cases. Mm -hmm. And so that's clearly a focus of conversation. What he's also talking about possibly incorporating a plastic bag ban in this. Which would be that's a little that, too much for that, that would, at one time. That would that would be well there's there's the rub and that's the tricky part in trying to figure out if that's worth doing or if it makes sense. Also one of the biggest arguments is you can recycle plastic bags and you can't really right. recycle that. Oh there's all we sorts of yeah. we we're not close enough to any of those. Right. That's that's a huge problem. And uh, so <laughs> and clearly there'd be a lot more resistance to the elimination of plastic bags. Right, yeah. And so. I, because, like, the consensus for the styrofoam was that it was not, or at least when I surveyed restaurants, not a lot of them used it. Right, yeah. I'm not surprised, actually. I don't so I don't think there's gonna be any. I think there's only one restaurant that was like, it would really, we might potentially have to go out of business if you make us stop using styrofoam. Really? Yeah. Wow, well, what did they say? Well, I, we went to Socorro Buffet. This is like the only right. place that we, had this reaction from, and I think that there's a bit of like a language barrier because I don't think you like we were really like communicating well. Yeah, we, I had that yeah. Idea. So that was a bit tricky, but um, basically we were like, if if you had to stop using styrofoam, would you make less money, a lot less money? And he was like, yes. And I was like, would you maybe have to go out of business? And he was like, maybe. So, but they don't. It's from. I'm like trying to think. I don't even yeah. remember getting styrofoam. I've gotten to go stuff from them. There's never been a styrofoam. It's like paper cartons. They have like oh yeah cups, Is and that then the they have the, the clamshell, the big. They do have the clamshell stuff. Okay. And, uh, and it looks like they used a lot because that was like their only takeout options, except for soup bowls, which are the plastic ones. Yeah. But that's just one restaurant out of like. Did you ask them about the alternatives question too? Yeah, we were like. like have you looked into anything else? And he was like, uh, no. Okay. So right. okay. the Florence restaurant owners were, or just manager people were pretty moody when I went and talked to them, except for, except for the Cup and Top and um, what's that called, like Evolution Cafe. Evolution, Evolution Cafe, yeah. They were, they were both like, like they, they thought it was almost crazy when I was asking if they used styrofoam. Right, right. Uh, uh, yeah. Evolution. No. Evolution's a vegan restaurant. Yeah. They use like the cafe. They, they use like the exact They use that mushroom that, stuff that yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then but then when I went to like A1 and Florence and stuff, they were just like you're gonna get like like before you even like said anything, they were just like, No, it's just like you might as well give up everything and just stick with what we're doing and don't wanna have anything change in very one way. What about um Places like Pizza Factory and, and um, the Pizza Factory, I had this. Their their owner speaks absolutely no English. Yeah. Their manager, or whatever, and no English whatsoever. What does he speak? Spanish. Spanish. Yeah. Who's so I, I talked to I think it was uh, Stephanie. Yeah. And I don't remember. There's, there's two high school students I knew, and they said they they don't think they really use that much there. And what, where else did I talk? I never could get to. Um, the foreign yeah. diner, they were always closed after school. And then Subway, they, their manager, like, I talked to him, but he like, said come back another time, I also left my phone number with him, and he just never answered right. me. And I had the same thing with, with Stars, like I talked to the guy, and he was like, no, come back tomorrow, and he wasn't there at the exact same time, so he was gonna be, so Florence was not so nice, but when I went to Northampton, Northampton was very happy. So okay. yeah, yeah, actually, we went to King Street Eats, and they were awesome. So one guy was like, "They're like, so do you guys use styrofoam?" He's like, "Oh no, not at all." And we're like, "Okay, so what do you use instead?" He's like, "Well, we use tin foil, but we're we're trying to find a more a better option." <laughs> and we were like, "Wow!" And he's like, "Yeah, we totally like support a ban on styrofoam." And our manager, the owner, he was the manager. And he's like the owner is like super in favor of that, and we're really looking into different ways and stuff. So, there are new business too. There, there are, are new businesses that took over. Yeah, and new businesses might be more receptive to the idea, and uh, mm -hmm. other ones that have you know stick in their ways. Right. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true though. Larger chains, probably. Did anyone talk to any chains besides Subway? Didn't I, yeah, I talked to KFC and Taco Bell and Friendlies. Couldn't answer any of our questions. Oh, I got. I I talked to the friendlies in Florence. I don't remember what they said. No, they said that they're not allowed to answer questions. Like yeah, that. the first time. I, yeah, when I went the first time, they were like, "Are not allowed to ask questions." The second time I came by, they like the actual manager person was there. Like they said, when I asked them if I could even talk to their manager about something, they were like, "We're not allowed to say if we're allowed to or not." And I was like, "What am I supposed to do with that? What does that mean?" <laughs> um, Yeah, I mean, there's stuff there. I mean, I, the people who are posed, I mean, the people who don't answer, I mean, places like Friendly Dunkin' Donuts, uh, all, the, all the chains, you can actually write something from their corporate headquarters uh, and someone from their PR office in all likelihood will respond to you. Um, they don't want staff speaking for themselves so yeah. they think they can get them in trouble. The Dunkin' Donuts, those are individually owned franchises, so I don't know. Um, the manager wasn't at the Dunkin' Donuts that I went to. Yeah, okay. That's okay. Usually their own one family or one person owns like three or four, possibly five Dunkin' Donuts. So They're my neighbor. They're your neighbor? Yeah. Well, I'm not going to go over there. Because, um, <laughs> okay. I don't think he speaks English. Well, I, yeah, he's the owner, though. I don't think they speak English. So how should we do this? Should we put it onto the spreadsheet? And if you can, like, yeah. Yes, but the thing is, there are a lot of places who use who would be a yes, but just for coffee cups and stuff like that. Can you break that down? I mean, I think if it's yes, and then break down the categories of yes, we use the coffee cups. We only use the clamshells, or we use it for um, you know sauces. In some cases, they have little styrofoam things for sauces or something. Mm-hmm. But it, you know, that, but just that they use some form of it, and clearly, if they're using it for sauces. Small, small version. It's probably not going to be a major cost difference, but uh, coffee cups, particularly if your business is coffee, that's a big deal. Clearly, so yeah. If we talk to one chain, can we assume that, like, since we have one friendly, would we guess that both the friendlies are probably the same? Yeah, I think you could assume that since they are chains. I think yeah, because they're run out of one corporate headquarters, which I think is back in Wolverham, so. Yeah, probably the closest corporate headquarters in the chains. What's that? Probably one of the closer headquarters. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Although Dunkin' Donuts is based in Boston, so yeah, really, yeah, the Dunkin' Donuts started in Boston. And Subway's based in Fairfield, Right, right. Subway's another regional chain. Associates. (laughs) Oh, really? Yeah, really. I believe so. And D'Angelo's. I don't know who owns that now, but they, they're doing this company. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the old Solar Stone Steve Harrell's ice cream. That's that's not that's not that's not more um, mini chain. Yeah, it's well sort of. They're weird configurations of chains, but the clearly the um, I mean it sounds like at least the gist I'm getting is the, the bulk of people are not using it. Yeah, all of these are those at all. Right, so that that that. That helps, but I mean, if you include that in the in, in the presentation, so th- if possible, and think about what you want to do about this. If you want to do it for the last meeting, which or, or, let's not call it the last meeting because it might not be the next meeting, to have a, a PowerPoint presentation to present, and I'll set it up so we can plug it into that, project it on that, okay. and. Um, and hopefully I can get one or two of the sponsors to show up because they've expressed a keen interest in this. And then you guys, you know, your work's done in that respect. I think you guys, as I said, you've still done, you've done, you know, 20 times more than most of the youth commissions in the past. So that's all good. You've nothing to be ashamed about. And then possibly for the first week in June, since you guys won't have any more exams, you could have a, we could, we could blow the water on pizza and stuff and then consider doing it for recruitment. Yeah, I think, I think that would be really nice to do because then we can like use it as a recruitment and then like we can kind of show off like some of the stuff we've done. Yeah. And, um, City hall party, have the lights on the top, <laughs> music. Just we'll get a disco ball, ball and hang it from that. <laughs> yeah. Somebody doing beatbox in the corner or something. 
<laughs> yeah, it'll be insane. <laughs> The entire campus of HCC was like for like half an hour, just completely uh, right partying. Yeah, except for me. Except for you, because you missed the free food line. Mm -hmm. You were eating your lunch in the corner somewhere, or doing the schoolwork. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Actually, are there any HCC students similar to you that you know from Northampton that mm -hmm. might mm -hmm. might consider being youth commission? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, is there a, like a uh, age commission? It is. You have to thought. be eighteen going in. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, probably not. Okay. Well. That's the other thing that I'm realizing too is that one thing that I've noticed this year that made it kind of hard is that while we had people showing up, we only had a few people contributing, and I, mm -hmm. we had a lot of like agreement, which is good, but it's not representative of what's really out there. I agree. So I think. I think. It would be, the only pushback we got actually a little bit was during the stormwater discussion when I actually was hoping those guys would stick around the the young Republicans yeah but they mm -hmm. they I, I mean I was kind of psyched that they were here because they were giving pushback they were asking right uh, good questions provoking debate and reinforcing people's uh, perspective on it that was perfect but they didn't so if we can pitch some woo to them and see if that is do they still exist? Yeah, yeah there's not. like. All right, you? Yes, sir. Well, all right. Well, then, what the, what are, where are your peeps, man? <laughs> they don't come out much. <laughs> they, they don't get out much. Tom no. with Pete, it gets dark, and they don't have to be seen in the daylight, and we provide food. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, Thank you. And tell, and you know, the the point is that you need both sides. It, well, first of all, there's no two sides to any issue. There's yeah. as many sides as there are people. But the fact is, you need yes. stimulus and debate. You need to question. So, I mean, it's the same as scientific theory. You need challenge. Your theories need to be challenged. We may all believe that one thing, and then you have to have someone who will challenge mm -hmm. it so it makes you understand why you believe it. Mm -hmm. Or change your mind. That's another prospect. So, I mean, I, th this has always been my frustration with the Youth Commission. Very good people have worked on this and done it. But most of them are, you know, <laughs> take A B classes and most of them have kind of progressive ideals and they're all great except for the fact is, is that there's no there's nobody who has a different experience that's unique or that shows up in the meeting and I'd love to see more of that. Yeah, well, I feel like I think yeah. we're getting a very limited view right now, which is like yeah. great that we have a solid group, but I just like I forget what it was the other day, but I feel like being here, you just you start off on this basic level of everyone has pretty much more or less the same values than you right. as you, so you don't have to explain why that should be the case. And I had to do that the other day, and it was a little like, oh, like, why, why do I believe this again? So I think that that should be a big like focus for us, and like kind of I think we need to get a little more like. I don't know how to say this correctly, like class diversity? <laughs> yeah, no, I think that's a great way to say it. We need class diversity, we need ethnic diversity, cultural diversity, um, diversity of opinion. How do you want to promote that, though? Well, just well, well what schools we need to like, get schools? to the right places rather than just like NHS. Like, we yeah. mainly need to do other first schools have like the club, club, like fair things? I know we have. Uh, well, they had it last year, I remember. What, what is that, the eighth grade? Is it, is it in the fall? Later. No, it's in June. Oh, it's in June. Oh, it's, it's, it's sometime in June, I think. Yeah. But that that's great, except, except we're, yeah. the other schools oh. the other schools that we would have to talk to would be Williston. But that's you know, again, we're talking you know, we're not talking about a lot of diversity there. <laughs> Do North Star yeah. Cutchins yeah. programs. Actually we had a Cutchins rep um, last year. Um, kids out of school. Um, kids who dropped out, um, uh, Smith Folk, we're, and that's always some heavy lifting. We've never been able. We've I've had a, maybe five kids from Smith Folk over the years. Yeah, it's what also it? hard because I feel like, how do you, you have to learn how to communicate on a level that's not, that's not off-putting to someone but right. doesn't dumb it down. Exactly. Because people, if, what I've kind of notice is that people a lot of the time do care about something but if they feel like they're being talked down to like <laughs> yeah I mean what's the appeal I mean think about what it was that made you guys want to join was it I mean the opportunity to say look I've been on my resume 
uh, my vitae that I can show that I was in the Mayor's Youth Commission, which is, I think it's a legitimate appeal, or, you know, I want to, but when you try to sell that on the street, would you like to come in and have meetings and talk about government policy? Which, yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding? Where do I sign up? I and mean, that's a hard sell. I mean, you can't get citizens to do that as adults, yeah. older adults. Sorry, that was a patronizing remark. <laughs> I, th I thought I thought I thought older adults were more active in government than the young. I, I think proportional to the population. No, I'm sorry. No. Well, I I kind of joined because I heard it was it was almost um, it was like a group of people kind of discussing you know topics around the community and um, not even I thought it was more of like a debate thing because we were talking about different issues mm -hmm. and that's why I joined because I wanted to kind of you know give my two cents about each thing. So I think people kind of looked at it that way as like voicing their opinion about different things around the community aside from all of us. Right. That'd be more appealing. Do you, uh, uh, for the, the Republicans at the high school, is that group going to carry on? Do you um, know, or yeah, they're juniors right now. Yeah, they're, most of them are juniors, so can I can you, talk to them. Can you talk to them and ask them if they, you know, one or two or three or all of them if they want to represent? I feel like, yeah, I feel like they would. It's hard because there's, it's weird, but there's a lot of, well, it's not weird, but there's a lot of stigma attached to being a Republican at NHS. Like, yep. I remember my English class, my AP Junior English class, there was one girl who was a Republican there. She's usually, like, a pretty outspoken girl but she sat in the back and she was quiet and she did not look happy every day that she was there because we were talking about like civil rights things and stuff like that and it's like how republicans are wrong yeah you know or i guess it's like a like a, like a like a you know non-mormon democrat living in utah <laughs> right. it's it, it, as the minority if you are representing as a minority in any issue on any topic it's always it requires more courage and more work to speak out and to be heard. And how do we promote that? And the thing is to try and encourage it by no shot downs, everything, everyone treats everyone. You know, I mean, because of social media, the public discourse has been reduced to snark. We, it's sarcasm. You, you've seen it every time someone posts something. It's always this kind of wise-assy, insulting response. You know, presuming that the person you're making fun of is, is, is stupid and does never thought out their values or their virtues in there. And so as a result, not a lot of people want to sign up for that. Whereas we want to promote reason thoughtful discussions without shout downs on on issues. I mean I think the because what's important and this is true in Northampton too. I mean what you described in the high school is just a reflection of the larger community. Um, you know, the, the the local Republicans can convene in a phone booth here. And it's not in and by and large are reluctant to speak out for the most part. And you know, if we're gonna talk, we got we gotta walk the walk and talk the talk. If we're talking about free open discourse then we gotta promote it without creating what that circumstance that you described in the in the in the classroom. So that's why if we can get Nolan, if you can persuade um, any of those guys. Is it all guys? Is there any? Um, well, it was Shane and Ben who came right. that time. There was one girl, but she's a senior. Yeah. Okay, so she won't be there. No. But I'm clear there's got to be some who haven't necessarily joined yet. So Yeah, yeah. or who haven't come out. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think it just started <laughs> really this year. It's yeah, it's like so, right. right. it's yeah, it could have been. Right. Right. I think, you know, they made a legit group this year, so. Yeah. So it actually right. met <laughs> and discussed topics and things like that? Mm -hmm. okay. I think the best way to get the message across is to, like, go talk to these people in person. Like, go to the go to Smith Folk and, like, present what we're doing here. Because Even have, like, a table words on a paper isn't going to mean anything to right. anyone unless but, they, like, also, you have to be a little careful there because then they're going to be like, who the frick is this artsy girl coming in here uh, trying to tell me what to do, you know? Jokes. Well, it could like, be me. I mean, I could do it. I mean, that, you know, because I'm not a voting member and I'm the guy that's supposed to make this work. So I could go and no one could figure out whether I'm a crazed redneck or if I'm, <laughs> if I'm some lunatic hippie that can't really pin it on me. So they don't, you know, yeah. I'll pull them all off and scare the little Jesus out of them. I, I know I pitched this idea a while ago, and I think this is like would be the perfect opportunity to have someone like Nolan or like 
like some some senior person or someone that a good portion of people know and have them go down and hit 94 3 because right. they would definitely be willing to do something like that. Like and that definitely sense. targets, yeah. I think, a vast majority of groups. And I, mean, I remember when we did that for the nice. newspaper, like, like we heard about that who I know we would not have reached out to. And also, the larger community also would possibly hear about it too. Yeah. And Mariel, you remember our Gazette article that never actually made it oh, into the yeah. paper? Yeah, the people who we never have, we still have the article, the recruitment yeah. article from the fall that never made it into anything. Maybe it's time to go harass some people. Yeah, we emailed it to like three news. Yeah, did you get any responses? No. So. no, I emailed it to the guy and then to go down there. Yeah, yeah, if we do one that, like that, that idea, and then, I don't know, like, just like, Nolan, how is your radio? It's all right. I thought about having my own radio program once, but then be your opportunity. Yeah. So <laughs> then, uh, but I can do that. That sounds like a good idea. I, if, I mean, if we, if, if anyone, if we find someone, I can just email them. <clears throat> Say some promotional thing. So what would that be? What would what would it be like? Just just like a promotion thing about? Yeah, and he'll probably say like he'll also probably want you to say like I'm Nolan from the NHS and I listen to Hit Sunny Four Three in the Four One Three. Yes. <laughs> oh, so you guys want to go to Trumpies then? Uh, okay, I can make that happen. Yeah, really? a lot of, yeah. Oh, that would be. Yeah. I think that would be really. Successful. So I was gonna say, if you're talking about going to HMP, I have a feeling you're not gonna be talking to too many people <laughs> listening for the youth commission. So, yeah. but I think if we did that, though, his, we should try to get a boy and a girl. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Starling. <laughs> no, I mean yeah, we we. we can make, <laughs> so you guys are listening to hits. Once yeah, twice. I. Okay. Yeah. 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 They have yeah. the hottest hits. <laughs> yeah, that's what they say. Yeah. <laughs> and the thing is, they, the the rotation of things that they play, like local things, it's like right right when kids are coming to high school, or coming to the high school, and right after sports. Those right. are the two times that they play those things. So that's uh -huh. what people here. Yeah, Trumpy came up through Valley Free Radio, and then he's basically he's got a van. Yeah, he came up van and in his own station. So he's a funky guy. Right. Funky covers it. <laughs> but yeah, if you want that, to, if you want that, <coughs> let me know and I'll I'll make that happen. Okay. He he'd be excited by it too. So, yeah. so that yeah, that's definitely very enthusiastic. Yeah. What's his name? Trumpy. Trumpy. It's okay. I can use <laughs> it. He's done awesome. Trumpy. No one knows what you. It's a it's like, a like goatee like of sorts. It's a. It's like a. Pinky looks like a goatee thing. Uh, like that fire thing. No. Uh, he's got a, a actually all you three the, before you meet him. the river <laughs> HMP and uh, the hits all have their fans sparked <laughs> by the <laughs> HMP <laughs> studio. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's see if I can find it for you. Uh, <laughs> you don't want to get a look at it. <laughs> Oh, I think we just decided, um, I'll put some columns on the Excel sheet for like used and if it's used for coffee or if it's and used percent. for more and then we'll just have everyone who um, does that can just fill it in and then there'll be like a little section for notes so if you want to do that too. Can just say that. And then, so on the sheet where we did um, the list, the list of uh, restaurants, um, I went to a couple and I think I wrote done. On that? Oh, so Does it, did it show up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so we didn't hit like the same restaurants twice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who'd you talk to? I had a list. Who you talking to? Um, you well, talk we to? went, we, uh, it was me and Alex. We went down to a lot of the ones downtown. Yeah. Um, so I think it was like, you know, like Zen, Fitzwillies, Stiletto. There was the one on the corner, I forget what it's called, it's an Asian restaurant. Oh, that one, yeah. Across from its Willie's, it's like a corner, it's a really small place. Oh, Motion Motion. Oh, uh, Motion yeah. Motion, yeah. yeah. They actually did use styrofoam. That was like one of the ones oh. we went to that did use it. They do sushi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, they, yeah, I asked them about yeah, the yeah. Uh, styrofoam, and okay. they hadn't looked into anything, and they weren't sure if it would affect their business, so. Okay, other that's places, good. Other places, we, I got a few samples of the stuff, that they used, it was usually a mixture of like cardboard and paper. Um, one, I forget what it was, it was it was a weird green mix of something. I think it was, I forget it was, it might have been from the roost or something, but 
strange. Kale, kale containers. Kale containers, <laughs> right. Exactly. You can eat them for dessert. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 Oh, okay. So I wrote a thank you note for the mayor's secretary and then forgot to bring it, but I thought it'd be nice if everyone signed it. Yeah, Corrine retired. Yeah. Aww. Yeah, she retired. Uh, we had a big party in this room for her, actually. Yeah. 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 She's now that actually there's all new people in that office now. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, so there's three. Well, actually, Lynn Nuttleman, uh, uh, no, Lynn Simmons will be coming back. She's on maternity leave, but. Um, there's a woman named B and a guy named Chris Hellman, former Board of Public Works, actually. And so, um, and in no Korean, yeah, she's been there 24 years, I think. Yeah, yeah, she was really nice. She when was, I to her. She, she, was she was, yeah, totally willing to like work and say, okay, this doesn't work, so let's find out what it does. And oh. she, she was awesome. Yeah. So, yeah, I think. It's, it's, I mean, these guys are going to be very helpful, but no one knew how the city functions better than Kareem. I mean, the elected officials go to talk to her just to figure out how things what works and what doesn't work. I mean, because she's been here for 25 years and she knows all the players and everything. So, so that's going to be tough because there's not going to be that go to person anymore. So, People still call her. Still call, still call her, and we'll have to make it up as we go along. Also, her principal job was to sit there and field all the angry phone calls. Mm -hmm. It's astonishing that she was as nice as she was, get yelled at every day by mm -hmm. cranky people. Uh, so, uh, and she always treated them with respect, and never hung up on them, and took all the heat in some of the most insulting language you can imagine. And she, yeah, yeah. So it is too bad. But plus she was she was in charge of the pizza money. No. <laughs> so I don't know, we have to figure out what that works out now. So so I don't know. I don't know if I don't know if the um if the, if the new administrative assistants will need to remember the account number because I don't know. Oh dear. Oh well it's listed somewhere. Yeah, yeah. And if worse comes to worse, I know where Corinne lives, so I can call her. <laughs> no, that's so. Yeah, so <laughs> come, come, come out Just tell me, where's the pizza? Yeah, I mean, like, see. Exactly. Exactly. So, like, there is no pinch. Oh, so that's this thing. Because I went to this, um, God, what is it called? Oh, it's a grassroots advocacy training thing. And so it's like for grassroots organizations, and obviously we're not that, but they had this model, which is your elevator pitch is called the 2793, and it's 27 words or less, nine seconds to say it, and less than three main points, and you have to write this out. And so I was like, oh, okay, no big deal. And then it's actually really hard. And nine it was seconds? Really helpful. Yeah. 27 words? 27 words. Yeah. It's for the linguistics. 140 characters, which is <laughs> works out on average to about 20 or so. Yeah, it's yeah, it's, it's actually it's really helpful because sometimes people are like, so what is this? And then you have to like find this way to explain it, but you don't want to lose their right. interest. So I was gonna have everyone write that, but I don't think we should do that right now. I think when everyone comes back, then we should because I thought it was really helpful and at least to like get you thinking about what's important about this band and just in general about our group. So. Well, let's say for the next meeting, you've got to get the word out to get everyone to show up and make, make it for sure happen to have a presentation to update the uh, PowerPoint and then yeah. we can mm -hmm. even project on that screen. And, and then also think for the first week in June, we'll convene just to debrief, say goodbye and recruit and eat. So we know votes or anything like that. So. Okay, so we'll do that so. meeting and then our last like hurrah. Yeah, the last hurrah. Okay. Your big summer launch. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. So the we should you should email all the members that we have emails for just to let them know because clearly sometimes announcing on Facebook doesn't seem to cut it and. 
So, announce emails and then ask for RSVPs. That way, you know if we have a quorum and stuff, and if somebody says they're coming or not, you can hunt them yeah, down. that's something. Hunt them that down and stalk them. Really? That's something that we should start establishing. Is like, let somebody know if you're not coming to the group. Right. To the meeting. Right. Yeah. Do we have like, everyone's phone number? I mean, we could make it something where people like just send out like a fatty mass, group text. Max text. <laughs> or you can just post on the group or send an email. I don't go on Facebook. No, but it means to tell email. people. I'm not going to tell. I, mean, I get yeah, the email ahead of time. Yeah. Well, there's some people that, like Morgan. I think has been off. Her, I'm not sure, but for some reason she thought it was last week. Uh, so. Aww. Yeah. She came. I believe so. Twice she showed up on the wrong week. And oh. Sat out here and she's not on Facebook. I, no, she's her, she's not allowed to have Facebook. Oh, okay. so, <laughs> yeah, this, this so this first and third Wednesday. I, I thought it was last week too. Isn't it first and third Wednesday? Yeah, it's the first and third but Wednesday. Usually that's every other week, right. but last month there were uh, five yeah. Wednesdays. Oh. So, it, so she's off one week. She's off for the rest of the week. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, exactly. So, um, yeah, and what? that's and that's we've had that confusion with other people too. Um, People go who are in the Cutchins programs can't do social media. They can get email, but they can't do social media. Wow. Um, so how would we contact? It's like the booster. How would we like? Uh, email. You could email. Oh, you can. Yeah. Why can't they use social media? Um, it's just part of their program. They're not. It's wow. it's distraction. So yeah, it's. What the, is that? Hmm? I don't have any. It's like people like you don't rejoining a school. There. You don't have social media. You, so you don't have a Facebook account or any? No. I have an email. Okay, so no Instagram, no, no Twitter account, no, okay. Oh, that's awesome. No Snap, nothing. <laughs> no Vine. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You should put a Vine on it. <laughs> <laughs> you better hurry up and do with Vine, because Vine's about to tank. No, it's not. Oh, not yeah. no, I love Vine. Um, well, it's not owned by Twitter anyways. I mean, like yes, and the thing is, is that Vine is just being enfolded in Twitter, and it's, it's all... It's the, the social media systems change every two weeks. Recently, Amazon was in the back. Yeah. Um, what? Is Jeff Bezos? No, so the Amazon yeah. might change now because the um, the Chinese version of it is five times the size. Alibaba. Yeah, they just they just opened. They like just did an IPO. Yeah. 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 That's not that's served by Chinese guys, right? Yeah. But there's some real limitations on that. It's like yeah. it's like it's, it's like eBay, isn't it? I thought okay. I no, it's more like Amazon, but it's yeah. it's Amazon for the social media network, network and it's it's like and and Yahoo is part of it. It's like it's like a marketplace kind of thing. That one I like kind of knew what it was, but I wasn't really sure what was it. It's like when you is Amazon differently, it's like thinking it's like you have all the possible solutions and there's just the one that will get you to your end goal. Facebook is now. I mean, that's the thing of this. The, 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 I'm trying to figure out how to monetize these things. How do you monetize Vine? How do you make yeah. money off it? It's, I, it's a new market. People actually pay you money even if your thing doesn't make money. It's the most bizarre thing then, like, The guys in our class couldn't be like, oh, you only got a Twitter doesn't make money. So weird. Yeah. It loses I'm money. sure you did better yeah. than you thought you did. It's sold for Because money. me and Amelia both felt Billions really bad about dollars. it afterwards. <laughs> Yeah. Biggs prepared, I can promise you. Biggs prepared, yeah. So. Part of me wants to recycle this agenda. <laughs> That's okay, you can. There's a recycling bin right so by the agenda. copier. No, no, no I mean, like, like, you Oh, you use it? Yeah, you should. I mean, essentially, it's the same agenda. Topics with more people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just do it and, like, scratch out the date. I can give you my. Yeah, I think our beginning talk was very down. philosophical. So then, do I need to do this? <laughs> oh, what was the beginning oh. talk? Bill, do I need to do minutes or? What? For this? Yeah. It's not a, it's not a poll. You can just say, oh, we had no quorum. Well, you don't need to vote. So right. you, you yeah, can't, no. can't vote, we don't have a quorum. So you no, just that's said that's it was an informal yeah. meeting. There was no uh, uh, no votes taken. Okay, cool. Yeah. You can you can write down who was here. So everyone gets a props for that. No props. Shows up. Yeah. Exactly. We should just tell everyone that we got Harold's delivered here. And yes. he got sworn in again. No, it, we, <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no one can say is we all went out to dinner. Yeah. All, <laughs> and, <laughs> and I paid. Yeah. No, <laughs> oh, so nice. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
we, we, we spent 30 bucks a piece. <laughs> for, for, for our main course. For our main course, yeah. yeah. Everyone was limited to $30 per item on the menu. <laughs> no. Okay. Thanks, you guys. Motion to adjourn. Okay. You don't even need to do that. <laughs>